Hey guys, so here's a clip of a former Israeli pilot speaking out. This occupation is an ongoing criminal act of war crimes after war crimes, and we are not willing to continue to take part in these war crimes. In Tom Shapira, of his first work. Oh man. As a child in Israel, you are being brought up in a very strong Zionist militaristic uh, education. You don't know uh, almost anything about uh, Palestine. You don't know about the Nakba in 1948. You don't know about the ongoing oppression. Based in Norway, just heard from the 2003. I realized uh, during the Second Intifada that uh, what the Israeli Air Force and the Israeli military is doing is a war crime, uh, terrorizing a population of millions of Palestinians. And when I realized that, I decided to not just leave, but to organize other pilots that will publicly refuse to take part in these crimes. Check people. It was a psychological and a, and a very difficult process, but once you realize that uh, you are part of a terrorist organization, uh, you understand that you have to say no, you have to take the consequences. I was fired from all the companies I worked for in Israel, and it was uh, hard to because I support the Palestinian struggle, and because I give lectures all around the world, because I am part of the boycott, divestment, of, and sanctions movement, uh, because I uh, say that Israel is an apartheid state, because I say that my government and my military commanders are war criminals. <laughs> so far, it's not many of these Israeli uh, pilots and uh, military personnel that have been leaving. I believe they said just 27 of them since 2003. That's a long time ago. 2003, that, bro, that's so long ago. And only 27 of them so far. Well, at least I, maybe that's what we know of anyways. But still... Uh, I think this guy, when he came to that realization, uh, he was putting his life on the line pretty much. And uh, now he lives in Norway. He, uh, he can't even live in Israel anymore, you know. So uh, it's a big step. Uh, and uh, honestly, he needs to be applauded because it is a huge step to not only uh, deal with all the psychological stuff that's going on in your head, but also you got to give up everything that you knew, all your customs and your, your strongly held up beliefs, your national identity, and put that all aside and then pretty much start fresh. But he's done that and he's been doing it for years and years and years, giving lectures around the world. So I don't know if more and more and more people are going to be uh, siding with him because it's been such a long time and not even 30 people according to this report anyways have been discharged and uh have been have joined him and and, and uh are now speaking out you know so yeah you heard it from a uh, former israeli pilot there you go this is his take on what is happening but his country still refuses to see it this way. Okay, that's it for this episode, guys. If you have any more clips that you want to see reacted to here on FTD Speaks, you can send them to my Instagram and uh, I will do my best to react to them as quickly as I can. You can follow me. The link is below in the video description section and then send me your uh, DMs and then I'll do that as quickly as I can. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.